1952, the Bristol Britannia took off on its first test flight out of Filton. It was the first of a new generation of long-range passenger aircraft, built by the Bristol Aeroplane Company. In 1997, the last ever Britannia to fly, a military transport version built in Belfast, arrived at Cotswold Airport. Since then, a band of volunteers, many of whom flew and worked on the aircraft, have lovingly restored it for posterity and its regular public open days. Volunteers like Mick and Jim, who was a former electrician who flew around the world on the Brit, based out of RAF Lynham. Now in his 80s, he says not even lockdown has stopped them working on their old friend. This has been an exceptional last couple of years because we've repainted it outside. We got the chaps from RAF Duxford to come along and help us paint the top, but underneath, during lockdown last year, two of us painted the underneath almost single-handed. But volunteers to keep the Brit up to scratch are in short supply, and the team say, in their own words, that they're getting on a bit. Brian Weatherly was a navigator on this very aircraft and last year did a 99-mile sponsored walk just to raise money for the new paint job. But he says without new blood, there's real concern that this Brit and its rich history will be consigned to the scrap heap. This is an important aircraft. It took part in many parts of history. It would be intolerable to the sea that if nobody came, because nobody was caring and volunteering to open up on a voluntary basis, she would stand there and rot. If we don't get the people and we don't get the volunteers, that will rust where it is, rot where it is, and that would break most of our hearts. The team say to be a volunteer, you don't necessarily need expertise on the aircraft, you just need enthusiasm. I think it's an important aircraft because it's part of Bristol's heritage. It's something that needs preserving but there are really only about six or eight of us that are volunteers anyway so we desperately need people to come along a to come and see the aircraft and realise that it's here because I don't think a lot of people uh, realise it's here but we also need volunteers people that maybe worked on the aeroplane or people that are working at Airbus who want to get involved that sort of thing. Over the summer, the Britannia will be open to the public at the airport every Saturday, keen to show off its rich West Country history and also tempt new volunteers to preserve her for the future and learn from people like Jim. As long as it's here, I'll keep coming, as long as I can. It's my little baby. <laughs> Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West at Cotswold Airport.